Alright guys, so this is the next Patreon request I'm going to be doing, and this one comes from Hunter Johnson. And as always, if you'd like to have a Patreon request done, just hit the link below, head on over to my Patreon, where if you hit the fourth tier, you can send me your Patreon requests, as well as check out the exclusive content over on uh, Patreon as well. Now, let's dive into our uh, Patreon request, and uh, Hunter Johnson asked me to do a Old Man Steven Universe story. So yeah, Old Man Steven. Now this does not have any connection to the Old Man Universe I've kind of done with other animated characters, starting with Old Man Randy. So this is going to be a kind of a fresh take. Anyway, so let's get into Old Man Steven. So Old Man Steven basically is a universe where like in Old Man Logan, all the villains got together and killed all the heroes, uh, but some are still alive. One of them being Steven Universe, who survived a massive villain army who invaded um, uh, Little Homeworld. And it was so bad that like they tried to get help from uh, from Homeworld itself, but it turns out that Homeworld was also uh, like Homeworld was fallen under attack by like Dominator and Lord Zed and Zorak and Brax, like all the other villains like got together in outer space to also take out any opponents out there. So the diamonds were all killed by a joint effort by all these other space galactic villains. One of them being Megatron, who Megatron literally pulled what he did in the 80s movie, in the 80s Transformers movie, where um, he just murders all the Autobots there. So he literally does the same thing where he just guns, like he just transforms to a gun, Zed catches it, charges it up with his dark magic, and just starts gunning down blue, yellow, and white diamond. Um, and then their bodies are tossed to Earth, where they're now strewn about, like, as just dead um, reminders of a bygone era. So, yeah, the Night of the Villain army attacking Little Homeworld was a massacre. It was a straight-up massacre that led to everyone in Beach City being, being slaughtered. A vast majority of everyone being slaughtered. Anyone who could get away did. And gems were shattered left and right. Um, and, yeah, Stephen lost his entire family. He lost his father. He lost um, Connie. He lost all the crystal gems. He lost all of them. They're all dead now. And they're, all, like, it's just, it's just a complete and total devastation. It's just chaos. It's just gone. And Stephen was forced to flee. So now we fast forward to 50 years later. Steven, thanks to his gem biology, has managed to age slower. So he still looks like a young adult. He still um, is in... He now looks like a adult man, like a guy in his 20s, even though it's been over 50 years since the villains took over. But the problem was there is a bit of a catch. His gem was poisoned during the event. Um, he... Um, Belos and Andreas uh, essentially used a mixture of magic and science to poison his gem, so now he's vastly depowered than he once was. So now Steven is kind of like, he, he still has a long, long life, but he's no longer immortal like the other diamonds. And now he's like losing his, pa he's slowly losing his powers. But Steven, because he was a um, high target for the villain army, he's still like on the run. He's kind of it's kind of like Obi Wan now, where it's a very like Obi Wan esque kind of story, where he's just kind of staying hidden, staying low, and staying away from Little Homeworld, um, from what was Little Homeworld, because now it's a gem army like point. The uh, like the gems who join forces with the villain army are working. They are like now have a military outpost there. And who's running it is Bluebird Azerite, the ruby, um, the ruby fusion with uh, what's her name? Um, oh, you know the one I'm talking about. But yeah, Bluebird Azerite is the one in charge um, of that station, and she has a dragon. She has something called the dragon working for her. And what is the dragon? Well, we'll get to the dragon in a moment. Anyway. So Stephen is not the only one alive here. There are other heroes that are still that did survive the massacre. Um, one being Mason Dipper Pines, who survived and has been getting old. Yeah, if you guys remember in my Stephen in in um, Old Man Randy 
the old man universe. Dipper is basically a super villain. He's he's kind of like the he's a stand-in for the Hulk clan in that story. He's a straight up stand-in for the Hulk clan and he and the rest of the Pines family. But here he's been hiding out for the past 50 years. His bo- the, the mystery shack had fallen under attack. The rest of the Pines family and everyone in the mystery shack was killed except him and he was left in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. So now he basically uses um, technology he stole he's taken from Dr. Wakeman to like help move him around help move around. Jenny is also still alive but she's now just a her body is just destroyed so now only her CPU is alive and in Dipper's computer so the two of them are still alive out in like trying to survive and Steven of course is a high value target Jenny uh, Jenny's believed dead and Dipper is also believed is a high is a high ranking target for um, the villain army to the villain alliance to find but now it's just warlords fighting over territory in the past 50 years so we fa- so more or less what happens is um, Steven in an act of either bravery or stupidity or one, or like he no longer wants to live in this world. He wants to take back Little Homeworld and take back, you know, um, what was stolen from him. He goes to fight Bluebird Azerite, who is there with Topaz, the Topazes as her bodyguards. And she's not. And when they. Steven, of course, without it being as powerful, as diamond level powerful as he once was, he's thrown to the wolves and thrown to be fed to the dragon. And who is the dragon? Malachite. Yeah, Malachite is the dragon. Um, the thing she uses, uh, Mal- she uses Mal- Bluebird Azerite uses Malachite as a way to instill fear and keep everyone in line. Yeah, when the gem arm, when the army, when the villain army arrived at Little Homeworld, Jasper turned, switched sides immediately. He, she was like, yeah, only the strong survive. So this is the logical option. Sorry, Stephen, that's just how this goes. And um, Lapis wanting to be a survivor because that's what she is first and foremost a lot of people are going to say there's no way lapis would turn tail and flee at the last second really i could point to like five different times where she like was like save yourselves and took off i mean yeah she came back in the end but if it like realistically if this happened again if it was a no-win scenario i think yeah she might fall back into her old ways and actually be willing to join with jasper it it would just be that kind of fucked up situation Anyway, so yeah, Steven is forced to fight Malachite and, and basically kill the last two people left in his family. He has to, like, kill the... He basically kills Malachite um, and slay the last two members of his family and take over as the new warlord of that territory. Um, yeah, so that's how it kind of ends on this very somber note that Steven had to kill the last piece of what was good in him to more or less try to like rebuild and take over that territory so he could more or less make a a safe haven for anyone out there looking to like find Eden because what he's like what I did wasn't right but this is the closest to Eden anyone is gonna get so if you need help I'm here I'm now declaring myself as warlord of Beach City um of what the remnants of Beach City. So if you're out there and you want somewhere safe that you can be protected, I'll be there. So there you go, guys. Um, There is pretty much Old Man Steven. Uh, I'd like to thank Hunter Johnson for sending me this story. And like I said earlier, if you'd like to have a um, video done, if you'd like to have a Patreon request done, just hit the link below, head on over to my Patreon, and, and hit the fourth tier. Where, like I said, you can send me your, after doing so, you can send me your request to do um, a video here on YouTube, and also check out the exclusive content over on YouTube on Patreon. Patreon, excuse me. <laughs> but other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.